Ah, interesting. So this apparently, this video, this is actually an ABC mainstream news broadcast publishing a video of two doctors saying that what is going on is a bunch of hooey. The lockdowns are a bunch of hooey. Now, interestingly, this video of these two doctors talking, <clears throat> I just looked at a YouTuber I subscribe to called P Brain, who put up uh, about an eight minute video of the two doctors discussing the fact that uh, this is no more or less than the normal flu of some kind. And the video is being removed constantly from YouTube. I wonder why the ABC guys were allowed to keep it. They're referring to it. So I'm going to play this and capture it. And uh, you can make up your mind about what is going on. I'm going to have a little more commentary, I think, besides the, the nuts and bolts, the meat and potatoes that everybody's looking for, the information on this. Well, it's uh, kind of obvious. I mean, people are not dying the way they're saying. And uh, I'm going to have a few thoughts on this. But let's watch this little ABC report on doctors talking about this COVID thing. And, uh, and why is it being removed by YouTube as soon as they get a chance? But ABC, I guess it's okay. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's hear it. I say, do we need to still shelter in place? Our answer is emphatically no. Do we need businesses to be shut down? Emphatically no. Do we need to have, do we need to test them and get them back to work? Yes, we do. Doctors Dan Erickson and Artsy Masihi, both co-owners of the five accelerated urgent care facilities in Kern County, say they have tested 5,213 patients within the county for the coronavirus. That makes up for over half of all testing done here. They say their data and research qualifies their statement. Is the flu less dangerous than COVID? Let's look at the death rates. No, it's not. They're similar in prevalence and in death rate. So we are saying that our response now, now that we know the facts, it's time to get back to work. The White House Coronavirus Task Force expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, 10 times as lethal than the flu. But Fauci's decades of experience as an immunologist and physician holds no weight in the eyes of Erickson and Masihi. We're actually seeing the patients. Dr. Fauci hasn't seen a patient for 20 years. White House health officials have reported more than 800,000 COVID-19 cases with just over 46,000 deaths across the nation. But Erickson says that quarantining is a health hazard in and of itself. We understand microbiology, we understand immunology, and we want strong immune systems. I don't want to hide in my home, develop a weak immune system, and then come out and get disease. Reporting the disease, Erickson claims, is being forced onto healthcare professionals. We are doctors now, my friends that I talk to say, you know, it's interesting. When I'm when I'm writing up my death report, I'm being pressured to add COVID. Why is that? Why are we being pressured to add COVID to maybe increase the numbers and make it look a little bit worse than it is? I think so. According to Erickson, there is something much larger at play here. This is not about science, and it's not even about COVID. When they use the word safe, the word safe, if you look in the word safe, that's about controlling you. So when I talk to all my ER doctors who work in a hospital, no stake in the game, same opinion. Okay, well, there you have it. This, this is a snippet of a video. This ABC outfit is apparently allowed to run. Uh, YouTube is letting them run it. I'm capturing it because uh, I've made a few comments on this uh, on this thing that's going around, supposedly, and the draconian measures and it makes, uh, well, I don't understand uh, why it's, well, let me put it this way. It's being deleted. YouTube is deleting it based on uh, guidelines. Let me see if I can capture, uh, uh, let's see, uh, where was it that I was capturing this? Okay, uh, uh, this was, I got to go. Well, this is this is the uh, this is the guy that was uh, a pea brain guy here. So initially, when this is this is the video that's that was removed, an eight-minute video. They they went out. They went all out, and I think that was appropriate. But now that we have the data, we're we're seeing that 
96, 97% of patients completely recover. And those four patients that die, they have over 90% comorbidity. Let's run, let's run through that one more time. Out of 100 people, if 96 do fine, the four that die, 90% of those four have comorbidity, heart failure, emphysema, um, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus. They're on immunomodulating medication. They're immunodeficient, HIV. These are the people that are dying. You get some healthy people that die, but that's a infinitesimal number. Hey, that was P Brain. Anyway, he had a, a longer version of this video removed. So uh, I'll, I'll just leave it here. Uh, I, I thought I'd capture this because it's being removed. Let's see if I'm going to put this up and see if this video will be removed because I have these two doctors in my video. Uh, they seem to be perfectly rational human beings doing what they're doing. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, here. So here's the video that came in from P-Brain this morning in my email account at uh, 7.30. Let's uh, let me click on it. It comes up and uh, ooh, this video has been removed. Uh, so that's the video that was removed uh, based on YouTube's guidelines of people that are totally rational, legitimate human beings, the professionals that have an opinion and ideas, but you know it doesn't comply with the company line. So got to get rid of it. Got to get rid of it. This is something that's been going on on YouTube for quite a while and. Uh, quite a number of YouTubers have commented on the fact that they're being targeted um, and uh, the free speech component. And this probably opens up a whole discussion on a, a corporation like YouTube. It's a private outfit. Can they, are they a public service or are they just there to uh, promote their own deal, whatever it is? And uh, it's not something I'm really interested in going into. Uh, it's it's really a very little interest whether or not YouTube deletes my account or anybody else's account. Obviously, there are issues here, the freedom uh, of speech and all that, but we are way beyond this idea of freedom of speech and all of this. Look at 203 countries and territories have basically agreed on a strategy this is unheard of. This is like a lockdown in 203 countries and territories on Earth. That's all of them. When has the planet ever agreed on everything in the history of, uh, of civilized, so-called civilizations? This in itself is proof that this cabal, whatever, this cabal, yes, it's a cabal that's basically been able to lock down the entire planet. This is something that is proof in itself. Hello, New World Order. Well, there it is. Hello, world, new world order. A mission accomplished, baby Bush. His little Iraq uh, venture, mission accomplished on a scale that who would have who would have thunk it? I guess uh, I don't know if you were living on the planet five thousand years ago and you had Akhenaten running the show, and that was the last time. It wasn't a new world order. It was uh, a complete. Uh, it was a complete dominance of the planet. I mean, I you know, there were always pockets still, though. That's what I'm saying. In Mongolia or in, uh, in uh, Japan, like, wherever people were living, it wasn't controlled. Everything wasn't controlled by one cabal. There was still a place to move, but we got no place to move. This has been a total mission accomplished kind of thing.